Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Texas Hotspot. Today, I'm coming at you live to do a quick sauce review of, you know it, you've seen it. This is just my hot sauce holster, by the way. I want to start showing this more when I do sauce reviews on the Texas Hotspot. Um, every sauce review that I do on the Texas Hotspot will have my hot sauce holster from Canoe Gator Steve. Go check them out at hotsauceholsters.com. I believe that's the website. Um, if not, just Google hot sauce holsters and you'll find Canoe Gator Steve. Great guy. He makes the best hot sauce holsters and I love them. You can sn um, snip them onto your belt buckle or your belt loop, I mean. And he also makes like bandoliers for different hot sauces. And I think he makes little tink holsters for your tinctures. But... He was awesome, made me my own little hot sauce holster here. Premium leather, burnt in, burnt in uses actual paint to paint the colors in. He, he takes his time. He's a really good, um, what's up, mom? What's up, Ryan? And what's up, Ot Lang? Ot Lang's in here. So yeah, we're just doing a hot sauce review. This is Steve-O's from Jackass, hot sauce for your butthole. That's what it is. It's, it's the Steve-O's hot sauce for your butthole. So we're going to be doing the hot sauce review of Steve-O's hot sauce for your butthole. You can find it online if you want. I think Amazon has it for a little bit. Um, and, of course, I do have my own Texas hot spot tasting spoon. Uh, it's a per pearl spoon. A lot of people say to get that pearl to taste it better. You don't want to taste the metal in your mouth with the metal spoon so i have a nice tasting spoon here so i can taste the actual sauce a lot of people say this is their favorite sauce i have about two or three friends that tell me um that this is their favorite hot sauce which is unbelievable so we're gonna try it here today i got the um seal here so anyways not to promote jackass or anything but jackass four the new one is coming out in October. Uh, I don't know this whole Delta variant, they're still doing that, but uh, it's supposed to be coming out uh, in October. Jackass 4, it's got Steve-O and all that stuff in it. But look, man, this is a this is not my favorite thing about sauces is the seeds, okay? Whenever I make a sauce, I try to remove as many seeds as possible whenever I make a sauce because I like to have my sauce seed seedless. But some people like to leave the seeds in. A lot of people say that that's where the spice is. That's where you get your spices from the seeds. So, you know, sometimes it does the sauce justice. Sometimes it makes the sauce just gritty and nasty. But we're going to try it out. So the ingredients of this are actually pretty simple. You can't read them, but I'll read them for you. Uh, just water, habanero, and naga jalokia chili peppers. Naga jalokia is like a ghost pepper. That's just the scientific name. So it's got ghost peppers in it. It's got carrots, sugar cane, vinegar, salt onion, garlic, lime, acetic and citric acids, xanthan gum is just to thicken it up, got a thickener in it, and uh, ascorbic acid. It's an antioxidant. So let's give this thing a, a good shake again. And like I said, you can go find this on any Amazon website. Oh, it smells delicious, actually. I wasn't expecting that. I'm getting a very good garlic, vinegar, and a little bit of pepper in there. I can smell all those peppers, those blended up. I can smell those blended up peppers. But the image on this is killing me, man. It's, you know, it's Steve-O. And he's got a firecracker up his ass. Because that's just what Steve-O does. Um, and it's hot sauce for your butthole. So, let's try. It smells good. So, let's try a little spoonful. It's a little thick. It's a little thick, so we got a spoon, full spoon here, and ooh, it's very vinegary. I'm hit with vinegar, almost kind of like a sour. Almost kind of like a sourness because they used a lot of vinegar in that, but it's got a good garlic taste to it. You could definitely, there's a little bit of spice in there. It's not too bad. 
but it's really yeah let me try another one it's kind of sour right away because it's it's got you know it's a high vinegar content sauce so let's try it again now you're getting chunks chunks i believe it's garlic the seeds some pepper in there some pepper chunks it's a chunky thick vinegary hot sauce has a good has a good pepper flavor to it also kind of brings up the back but you're hit with vinegar right away um that's what you're getting it's a very it's a commercial hot sauce usually commercial hot sauces have a lot of those preservatives and vinegars to, to keep it on the shelf a while. It's not bad. It's not the best sauce I've ever had. I won't, I can't be like my friends and say this is one of the best sauces I ever had. Um, I think Mike Jack actually did put this in his backside. Oh my God, someone actually put this in his in their butthole. You came to the wrong place if you, saw, if you think I'm putting this in my butthole. <laughs> not doing it. I mean, it says hot sauce for your butthole not gonna do it man i've already put it in my mouth and i can tell it's spicy if that was on your butthole that's gonna burn man we're gonna take another one we're gonna take one more spoonful of this it's good it's not bad it kind of has the consistency of a almost like a asian sweet and sour sauce you know what i mean it's chunky I'm getting chunks of garlic, pepper, maybe onion, carrots, definitely some carrots in there. You're getting chunks of carrots. You're getting chunks of everything that it says in the ingredients. You're getting chunks of it. You're getting chunks of habanero. You're getting chunks of the ghost pepper. You're getting chunks of carrot. You're getting chunks of onion. You're getting chunks of garlic. You're even getting little pulp from the lime that they put in there. It's It's good. It's not the best sauce I've ever had. We'll definitely have to put that on some. That'll go good on a lot of chicken products or fish, maybe. Um, overall, on my scale, I'd give it like a five or a six. Maybe being nice, giving it a six. But a, I'm going to give it a solid five. Uh, five out of ten on flavor. Only because when I took that first spoon, I was hit with vinegar. Uh, right away, it's kind of sour, and I don't really like vinegar sauces that much. I like a pepper-forward sauce. I like to taste the peppers in it. Um, so, But the consistency was thick, and I'm not a big fan of that either. So I'm going to say on the the consistency and mouthfeel, really just, I'm going to say like a 3 out of 10. And the spice was just like, honestly, it's a 0 out of 10 for me. It doesn't really have that much spice to it. But my, my tolerance was a little higher than most. I'm sure if any regular person out there that does it's not a chili head would go buy Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole, uh, it would be spicy for you. It's got ghost peppers and habanero peppers in it, so it would be spicy for you. But it's it's got a very 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 vinegary forward taste, and then and then you get to taste all the rest of the ingredients after you get past that vinegar. So go check it out, guys. I mean, you can find it on Amazon. You can find it probably other lots of other places. Steve-O's hot sauce for your butthole. Support the man. Steve-O's a great man. You know, he had his demons and he got out of his demons clean and sober. Got his own podcast. Um, I support Steve-O, man. So that's why I bought his sauce. If you support Steve-O and the Jackass team, go check it out. It was only like $8. It really wasn't expensive at all. So that's all I got for you today. I appreciate you guys coming by and checking it out. Uh, Steve-O's hot sauce for your butthole. We will catch you on the flip side.